Hi everyone, it's been a while since I've done a fishing vlog and in my last trip I went to Wimbleball Lake to fly fish for trout and I'm off to Hawkridge to meet my mate Steve um, who's just got into fly fishing and see if we can catch some trout. <laughs> and they keep hijacking my videos. But there you go. <laughs> I, love you. Ah, I better get out of here before anything gets broken. Blue, gold. I still do all the different, yeah, different types of trout. You know, you think, oh, nice lodge as well. It's got a bit of a stay off the ground as well, sort of thing. And have you got a, um, a ranger on site at all times? Most of the time, there's someone around. If they're not in the lodge, it's normally out on the land. Um, Your important coffee machine. I did have a look on YouTube to see what I could find out about the place. There's a more recent one. Um, that I've done with Nicky Brown last year. I'm going to use a um, floating line with a um, single dropper, a buzzer on, and an air fly on the point with a bit of foam. close to the bank so you can't call it easy fishing, it's challenging. The water's gin clear so there's a really good stalking opportunity here. It's nice to be out the wind as well. Yeah, they're in the middle unfortunately. Yeah, I noticed, yeah. See him? After seeing that fish top well out into the middle, it made sense to stick with the buzzer and fish it static so that it was presented to the fish for as long as possible before being dragged in towards the bank. It actually took several minutes to bring the fish in. Um, because I'm using very light gear and that's one of the lovely things about a catch and kill fishery like this is that you don't have to get them in really quickly so you can then return them. You can play them out nicely on fine gear. On the point fly, a barbless F fly with a, a foam head. That's the F fly. God, look at the rudder on that. Brilliant, brilliant condition. A nice eating size as well. And what, yeah, this is the buzzer I caught those two fish on. So, nice. Did you tie that itself? No. Sadly not. Where's your fish in the, in the van? Yeah. Both considerably bigger than yours. A friend of mine, Graham, who uh, is a keen fisherman up in Preston, I lost, left my priest on the beach and uh, well, I lost it. So I phoned him up and said, what, what, what can you do for me? Two days later, this arrived through the post. <laughs> Good old weighty deer antler filled does, with does something. Does he poach deer then, does Have he? Have a feel. Right mate, here we go. Back to the van. Yeah. About right for a drop of length. And you're up for going on the boat? Yeah. 100%. It's got to be done, hasn't it? Right, yeah. So we're going to be fishing these static then, Charlie, yeah? That sort of thing. That will sit really right on the surface with it. Yeah. Give me a shout out to the camera. Give me, give me, give me. Yeah, nice and small. Are you um, upgrading from my fly to that one, are you? Yeah, your crappy one's going back in the top. Oh, well out of order. I'm going to have to catch on that crappy one now, aren't I? I'll just chuck it in the head. I'm going to put that crappy one on my line and make you eat humble pie. Okay then. I'll cut his, I'm going to cut his antenna off just to <laughs> just, just fish you off then. <laughs> Thanks. Asking about how you store the flies, how you store the light when you're in the boat. You'll see that on a lot of fly lines, there'll be a groove on the handle just there, and that's so you can wrap the line around the wheel, stow the hook, back up the rod. This is exactly what I wanted to do. 
to do so, which is wicked. They were only drifting probably about less than one mile per hour. Yeah, that's right, no, that's fine. That's fine. It's a nice speed actually. It's actually bad form. You should, if you cast that way, you're effectively trolling, yeah. which is against rules. It's a brilliant way of catching fish, though. <laughs> what do you make of welded loops on fly lines? Welded loops. Yeah, the fly line itself, the actual yeah. coated fly line, has a loop yeah. at the end of it, which seals it effectively and stops any water from going into the core of the floating line, causing the end to sink. I'd always been put off them because of the bulkiness of them. I thought they'd cause poor presentation, but they've got narrower and narrower and, and more reliable. So I'm next file line up. Oh, there you go. Hey. 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 <laughs> Speaking of weak, weak connections, the leader that I've got on here is connected with a needle knot. I've actually put threaded the monofilament through the through the fly line, sandpapered the butt section of the tapered leader and super glued it so there's no actual knot. <laughs> Come on, sort it out man. That's better. It's gone. Oh well done. Steve is in. Right. Oh he's out. In then out. Chris, you know, you I'm privileged. Right, I've got to get out of here before we run into here, mate. I'm going to have to move. Yeah, you've got plenty of time. Okay. No, 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 you've got plenty of time. You're all right, you're all right. You sure? You're in my video. All right. Do you know who I am? Yeah. Ow, that's my knuckle. <laughs> Wind your neck in. Wind my neck in. It's a very um, Somerset expression, isn't it? <laughs> Wind your neck in. All right. Hey, get on, all right? Yeah. Oh, well done. Good. You had any yet? Uh, Charlie's had three. I've had two. Why don't you just come on the boat? We're on the bank this morning, so. You're not feeling it on the boat? Yeah, I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. Good. Well, I'm just thinking what I might do is put a slightly more layery fly on the point as an attractor. You get me good? I just want to get fish here. Do you? Yeah. yeah. I need to catch one now, see? Oh, that was a pull. Was it? Yeah. Oh, there he is. Come he back. He come back for seconds, sir. He did come oh, back. Oh, he's for gone. He's gone so again. He's off. He's off. Oh, I haven't had. I don't know. He's come it up again. That's oh, two pulls in two cars. Not, not the ball. Sorry. Look at that wave. Look at that wave, man. Do you see it? Yeah. So is that bad? That's same. Here they come. Fishy, fishy. Sorry, Charlie. Give me slack a minute, mate. Cut me some slack here. Very naughty boy. The camera running for a good hour. That would teach me, wouldn't it? Oh, he's being flat rotted. <laughs> Jesus. Good one. Flat really. Yes. Go on, mate. Go ahead, Charlie. Go ahead, Charlie. <laughs> You're funny. I lose it now. I was turning the net. I was turning the camera. I want to get on the camera. You didn't really. You haven't played it that long, have you? And they're, they're powerful fish. What happened? Come on. Has he pulled the fly off your line? Yeah, flies and knots come undone. Well, well, apologies for my part in that. Oh, not at all. I'm more interested as long as you get the camera on. The main thing is the camera's on me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that just a six turn blood knot. Is that what you usually use? No, I always tuck my blood knots these days at the very least. Oh, you see that? He's in a game, look at that. Oh, he's gone. No! Now what? Oh. Three or four, I think. Four. It's my fourth one. 
That is golden rainbow. I've never caught one of these before. There's the nymph. That didn't take long, did it? We were just slightly above the fish, uh, and that was a nice sporting way of fishing, wasn't it? And if we'd done this from the off, we caught the fish, and we like, well, we've got to go home now. Here we go. take them out of the water to unhook them. Yeah. They handle them with warm hands, often dry hands. Yeah. They play them in the water for too long. The fish are definitely a little bit further down. We're very late in realising that, but it's nice because it means we've got the rest of the evening to fish. We don't have to leave the water. What's the most frustrating thing been um, when getting into fly fishing? Me? Yeah, what, what have you found to be the most annoying? I think just like being overwhelmed by all the different sort of techniques and there's so much to know and, um, and tangles. Um, oh, there we go. Fighting fit the rainbow. And there's the cormorant. I can relax now. Yeah. Having got your fire fish. That's so childish, isn't it? But I love it. I do. <laughs> I'll do exactly the same. What channel are we on? <laughs> oh god. I want I do a YouTube vlog. Do you? Yeah. Just for a laugh. But the thing is once you catch your fish, you've got to do something, haven't you? I love plums though. Plums are lovely, aren't they? Five different types of plums. Wow. Anyway, all good stuff. Yeah. No doubt, chat to you later. Yeah, all good luck. Yeah, cheers. Tight lines. Thank you. Quite keen to make a move fairly soon, if that's okay. <laughs> no, seriously. I've dropped you off. If you always put you on some fish. Cool, let's move then. Did you watch Panorama this week? About water companies discharging sewage into our rivers. Did you say it all goes out to sea? There we go. Well played. and then wait for that C to roll past you and now roll. We'll take a tight we'll take a little moment, one or two for the that's it. No, that's great. It's because you got a weighted fly on, it wasn't gonna come up straight away, so that's good. Nice. Not bad. There's a, there's a fly life, look, just hovering across the past my fly. The dreaded camera, guaranteed to me. You think that's what's been cursing you? Yeah. No. Look. It's amazing, isn't it? You brought us to the spot, first car, so you've got to be on the fish, haven't you? Yeah, you do have to be on the fish. And we weren't. This is where you caught yours. This is where we had our last two, two calls, wasn't it, out here? Yeah. 
Yeah. They're definitely feeding on something down there, aren't they? Well, probably, um, what's it called? Damsels. Damsels. So strong. Yes. Well done, well persevered. Thank you. Yeah, well done. I'm going to stop recording now. I think that's cheered you right up, hasn't it? Yeah. Was it me or did you play that one a little bit more gingerly? Oh, a little bit more gingerly if you had the dreaded camera in your hand. <laughs> Is it possible that the, the ones that you've lost you, you're bullying a little bit too much? No, I just think you've jinxed it with your stupid camera. Right? Yeah. I really want you to take some footage though, Charles. Oh, I've got well, loads of footage. Yeah. No, we just on my phone. Just okay. take a few pictures. Wait, okay, as long as you promise to subscribe. Yeah, okay. And share. There you go. We're in our fish, filling our forms. Last cast, I've heard that before. Three pound one of them. Cheers, mm. Steve. Thanks for a great day. Nine fish. That's great. Very good. And you managed to spread them out over the course of the day as well. Yeah, yeah, well exactly. That's always been my one reservation about coming to this place is that you, you catch fish and then have to go home again. But actually, you can just set the challenge however you want to, to do it. That's the same as anywhere, mind you. Yeah. I just had another two takes there. Did, Did you? Same fish, two casts in. Really? <laughs> what on the cat's whisker? Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's why they close it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. You know, sometimes it's not about how many fish you catch. It is about where you're fishing and who you're fishing with. And yeah, so what? You can't do catch and release, but why'd you have to catch 10 rainbow trout in a day's fishing? Five fish spread out, stopping for lunch, stopping for a coffee, stopping for a chat stopping just to look around really watch the woodpeckers soak it all in spot on that was hope you enjoyed it and uh, tight lines see you next time